Alright, uh, so in this video I'm going to be checking out some colorized vintage footage. Um, it is from the channel NAS and they have added their own sound to it. I am not including that since they created that sound. I am just reacting to the footage. It is about 8 minutes long. Um, I think I will include the entire video. Uh, I haven't included the entire video for footage like this in the past that was longer than 5 minutes, but I think I might change that so that if it's under 10 minutes, I'll leave the whole thing in. So, um, it, it is a day in London in the 1930s. I saw a very nice red car in the thumbnail. So, I am intrigued based on that alone. Classic cars are are very nice, very classy. So let's see. Play. So this one is colorized too. Most of the vintage footage I've seen uploaded to YouTube has been colorized to some degree. That, that building in the distance has a big clock on it. I wonder if that's like a, a play on Big Ben imagery. Ooh, the double-decker buses that London is known for, except that's a, a prerequisite to the buses they have now. They look really fun, though. I wouldn't want to be a driver in a normal car in the same lane as those buses, though. I feel like it would make me nervous. I really like the buildings, though. The buildings in the back. huge building says uh, Bovril Schweppes ginger ale is that like a factory for it or something oh change in in perspective and we have an ad great okay Taylor you're cool but I don't care um, do you guys drink Schweppes ginger ale? I do. I drink the diet. A lot of people hate uh, diet sodas and I'm I'm fine with it. The taste is not bad to me. I don't know. I like that building as well. Um, I know nothing about like the construction of different types of architecture but I appreciate architecture like from an aesthetic standpoint and I acknowledge that there's a lot of work that goes into making a building um, look nice while also structurally being sound and safe and everything. It looks like in this shot the camera is a little bit too close to the road. Because you can see when the buses are driving by, it looks like the windows um, of the buses are like very close to the camera lens, like a few feet. Okay, so we have another change in perspective, but you can see in the corner there it's that same building that was almost in the center of the frame in the first clip. So this all has to be the same area in London. They must have set up in one day or a few days and had like a different 
a different corner in the would you call this an intersection? I don't know. So I'm guessing this might be central London. Oh, those statues are very nice. Is this a... Oh, sorry for the noise. Um, I just hit my... I hit my recycle bin. Um, this is a... Outside of a famous building, isn't it? these two lines. It must be. It looks like it's an important place. Because I've never been to London, so I don't know. It's colorized very well, but there are some objects that appear on screen and some shots where it still gets very copper sepia-ish. This particular shot um, makes that a little bit more obvious. It looks very sepia, which is not a slight at whoever colorized this because I'm, I, I'm sure that there was a lot of effort put into this. Are those maps they're looking at? Maps of the city or something ha having to do with like the different bus routes? Perhaps? I don't know. Because I can see numbers and I can see beyond the sign that looks like a uh, train track. That is a train. Okay. Well, my question was answered. Those are some really nice trains. There's, um, there's a museum in my home city that has an entire section of the museum that is just uh, life-sized models of old-timey trains. And it was really fun. Same museum that has the crazy kitchen. That should tell you right away what it is. If you know, you know. The guy walking with the cane? Is that how you're supposed to move your cane? I don't... Flinging it forward like that? I... I mean, do you, you know? So this is 1930, and you can see um, that a bunch of the guys are wearing hats. And sometime during either the 30s or the 40s, hats, um, I mean for both men and women, kind of went out of style in terms of formal wear, right? Like. Nowadays, and for a few decades now, it's like considered rude to have headwear like indoors um, and not really considered part of your formal attire if you're like taking photos at a special event. Um, you wouldn't really have a hat on. So I wonder if this is like around the time that that started to shift. I don't know if it was the 30s, maybe it was the 40s. Definitely before the 50s, I think. Okay, and the video's over. Cool. Well, that was very fun, specifically because as someone who's never been to London, I have seen all the photos of the big red 
double-decker buses, but these were that except vintage, where the front of the buses um, were basically the same as the front of the cars of that era that you could see driving alongside the buses, which was really cool. It's almost like seeing an alternate um, version of a country because the passage of time changes so much and at the same time changes very little, which is where that whole phrase comes from of the more things change, the more they stay the same. Because those double-decker buses, like, you can tell looking at them that, that it's like, okay, this is London. But at the same time, it doesn't really look like the buses they have now. Except it does look like them, but it doesn't, you know? So that was fun to see. And those lions, those two lion statues in front of a building, I'm assuming that's an important building. It seems like it. So, if anyone knows what that building is, tell me in the comments. I would like to know. Um, London is one of the places that I would like to see someday. Um, I'm Canadian. So, uh, out of the places I haven't visited in Canada and the US yet, I'll probably get those trips done first. But, um, London is, is on my list, so. Thank you for watching this footage with me. I have an entire playlist for all of my reactions to other footage like this and also um, silent films, vintage cartoons, vintage stop motion animation, vintage experimental CGI, uh, stuff like that. So if that is of interest to you then by all means check it out and I will see you next time.